Welcome to Simple Guide, the series where I provide a guide and keep it simple. In today's guide, I'll be showing the top guns for Insurgency Sandstorm. Now before we get into this, I'd like to point out that these are not my top guns, and they are the top guns I've gathered from several community posts. I will give my input on these guns, but overall most people seem to believe that these weapons are the best around. So let's get into it. Starting out, we have the MP7. This one is more suited for a fast paced playstyle as it offers a really quick ADS speed, quick reload, and a fast fire rate. I found the recoil to be a bit much even when building it to compensate for that, but when I got up close, I was taking down enemies with ease. Moving on, we have the M16. This 3 burst weapon is just solid all around, moderate controllable recoil, and a fast time to kill. Medium range is the sweet spot for this one and it's overall just fun to use. You'll definitely need to keep your stances in mind if you decide to use this one, so crouch up or lay down to have better control of your recoil when firing this weapon. Next up on our list is the Taz 194. This shotgun is actually very impressive. I put the slugs on this guy and I was dropping dudes at distances with just one shot, so if you're a shotgun fan, you definitely gotta give this one a try. The AKM. This one definitely has a learning curve to it. Yeah, it's very powerful, but as expected, has some high recoil. I tried building the gun to compensate for this, but it was still a lot to handle. Close range to medium range, I was winning most gunfights with its two shot kill, but it was still a lot to handle and I seen myself losing some gunfights just because I couldn't keep my gun on target. If you want to test yourself, Go ahead and give this a try, I'm sure once you can control the recoil, you'll be putting up some high kill games. Moving on, we have the G3A3. This one has a slower fire rate, but it makes it easier to control recoil wise, and it does some pretty good damage. I found this one to be really enjoyable, and I found it to perform best at medium to long range fights. The MK Mod Zero, or otherwise known as the SCAR. This one I found to be the least enjoyable out of this list, but I was definitely winning gunfights up close. It offers high recoil, but with high damage. And on top of this, it does offer a smaller magazine, so if you give this one a try, you might want to put on extended mags and try to build it to compensate for the high recoil. Moving on to a sniper rifle, the SVD is a semi-auto sniper rifle that offers fast ADS time a one shot kill most of the time, and low recoil. The highlight for this one was definitely the low recoil. If I ever missed a shot, I was able to quickly realign my shot and then take the guy out. So if you are a sniper fan, I definitely believe this one will be something you might enjoy. Now moving on to what I would say is probably the second best weapon in the game, the MK14 EBR. It's a full automatic rifle that has controllable recoil and a decent fire rate. I found this one to be useful in all situations and is something I will continue to use. The only downside to this one is the small 20 round magazine that can't be changed, so keep that in mind. Next on the list is what many people, including myself, would consider to be the best gun in the game, and that is the FAL. It's a full auto rifle that takes one to two shots to the chest to get a kill. It's controllable all around and offers some great customization options so you can build this to your liking. If you want a great gun to use, go ahead and give this one a shot and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. The last sniper rifle on our list is the M8-2A1. This 50 cal sniper rifle is for those of you looking to just absolutely destroy the enemy. This is a very powerful sniper rifle that's a one shot kill every single time. The downsides to this high damage is slow ADS time and the very loud sound it makes when you take a shot. Overall, if you're going to use this weapon, I'd recommend taking your shots somewhere safe and out of the combat zone. Now moving on to the last gun on our list, we have the Uzi. Not everyone finds this gun to be all that great, but personally, I definitely enjoy this weapon. It offers some moderate damage, low recoil, and a fast ADS time. I found it to be the most enjoyable SMG in the game as it lets me play more aggressive and was very reliable. If you want to use a weapon that will allow you to play a little bit more like it's Call of Duty, I highly recommend you give this weapon a try. And that'll do it for this guide. 
If you believe that I left out a gun that you think is just the best gun in the game, definitely let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.